What's going on YouTube? My name is Calvin. I go by Calso Scoped. I'm just going to bring you guys a really quick tutorial as I'm finishing up this Kevin Durant composition. So what I have right here is the original photo of Kevin Durant, right? And then uh, jersey swap aside, that's not the important part of this, but I have him on a new background right here. And this background was just a Mark Hell Fultz uh, picture, but I wanted to bring Kevin Durant onto the Barkley Center. So I just copied this and then I masked him out onto this background picture right so now after in the jersey swap of course but as you see he's right on the picture like that but he's not really blended into the scene okay so the three things that you're gonna wanna uh, try to utilize as, as far as this tutorial is your curves adjustments gradient maps and then another curves adjustment but you'll see why so the first thing I did was I added my curve so just go to your semicircle and curves are right there okay so click on your curves and you're gonna go to your properties right here and you're gonna just see how I have this curve down below right so I have this curve down below because I want him to match the darkness of the scene so that was the first thing that I did to get him to match the scene okay now the second thing I did was add a gradient map and you guys see the gradient map he has more blues that are matching the background okay right there so the properties of this gradient map were my darkest blue so what you're gonna do is pick the three colors, maybe four, but three colors that fit the background very well. So this this gradient map goes from dark to light. So put your darkest colors down here, your lightest color of your scene will be at the top. So what you're gonna do is pick the pick a dark dark blue that I already had picked. There we go, is our dark blue. Then for the second one, you're gonna pick a mid-tone. So it's kind of still dark, but it's not as dark. So I picked like I went to right here where this where my cursor is right here and I picked that color right there because it's a it's a lighter shade of that blue and then for the last color I picked like a I picked I picked a gray a grayish a grayish bluish and that was right there and then from there you can also always like adjust it up and down like it's gonna it's gonna uh, affect it differently by dragging these sliders right so that's what I did there in my opacity, if it was all the way up, if it was on 100 opacity, that's what it would look like. But um, no, we're not doing that. So I dropped my fill down to about 24. Like I felt like that was good right there. And then the last thing that I added was curves. And I added another curves because when you add another curves onto like the other curves that you had, it's not that you're trying to make it darker or lighter. You're just trying to match it to the scene again. So I know that there's a lot of blue in here. So I went to my RGB and I drop I went to my RGB drop down went to the blue right and if you drag the blue from the top to the left it makes it so there's more blue in the scene if you drag it down it's gonna be green because that's the inverse so drag it to the left if it, your scene is blue to add some of those tones there and that's what I did right there to make this seamlessly just fit the background very nicely um, there's gonna be other lighting effects that I have to add but that's a, just a quick tutorial to show you guys how to match the scene very very seamlessly and very easy within Photoshop in like three quick steps um, I got a lot of help from this from Pix and not Pix and Perfect oh yeah from Pix and Perfect because he made a light tutorial but uh, just giving you guys my perspective of it and showing you guys how to do it very quickly so if this helped you guys out make sure you guys drop a like down below comment what other tutorials you want to see and until next time it's been Council Scope stay scope y'all I'm out Thank you